10, the city of Canton and the Canton Public School District are coming under fire tonight. Yeah, under fire after a 15-year-old 8th grader at Nicholas Middle School was allegedly assaulted by a resource officer two weeks ago. 3 Your Science Joseph Doring joins us now to break down the details. Joseph? Yeah, Howard, today civil rights attorney Carlos Moore announced that ever since 8th grade student Katiana Francois was allegedly assaulted on April 4th, that she's still traumatized by the event. And he now plans to file two separate lawsuits on her and her family's behalf. My client is still suffering from shock, embarrassment, humiliation. She is continually uh, seeking treatment, counseling for that uh, heinous assault. Katiana Francois, a 15-year-old 8th grader at Nichols Middle School in Canton, allegedly assaulted two weeks ago by the school's resource officer, Jaya Parker. A school resource officer assaulted this young lady and she still walks free on the streets of Canton. She still carries a gun and a badge. Civil rights attorney Carlos Moore, along with her mother Alexis Davis, spoke on the teen's behalf Monday afternoon. Sharing their side of the story about how the incident started, they claim the teen simply asked to leave class so she could take her prescribed medication. She asked the teacher, can she go to, the, uh, go to get some water from another teacher, right? Resource officer slash officer was standing there talking to the teacher that normally gives her award. From there, Davis says Parker approached her daughter about wearing headphones at school, something that Francois says is normal at her school. She says the discussion rapidly escalated when Parker grabbed her daughter's hair, choked her, and also verbally assaulted her. I've been grieving and, and I feel empty. Davis says video evidence of the assault exists, but the school system is refusing to let her see it. Attorney Moore is now planning to file a civil lawsuit against the Canton School District as well as the city. Miss Parker, it's time to pay the piper. You should be terminated immediately by your current employer, and believe me, you will face me in a deposition, and we will see you in court. After Monday's press conference, Davis filed an affidavit with the Madison County Justice Court seeking a criminal investigation be brought against Parker on top of attorney Moore's civil lawsuits. The people that is in authority over your children should not harm them. That should be the last thing they do. If they can't help them, definitely don't harm them. Now Nichols Middle School did fire Parker immediately after the incident, but she still remains employed by the Canton Police Department. Attorney Moore says Francois has not been back to school since this incident and hopes she'll return before the end of the school year. Joseph Doring, three on your side.